Hi, good day everyone. This video is about evaluating functions. And again, if you want to evaluate function, we need to simply apply the law of substitution. That means, if you're, if you're under evaluating or evaluation, just substitute the given value of x or any variable to our given function. So let's try to answer this given problem. So if f of x is equal to x plus 8, let's try to evaluate each. So for letter A, we have f of 4, we have b, f of negative 2, and last we have f of x plus 3. So let's try to answer given letter A. So again, just apply the law of substitution. So if we have f of x equals to x plus 8, that means if we have this given problem, we have f of 4 is equals to x plus 8. So we have here this given input as 4, so just insert that value to the variables. Okay, so it will give us this. We have x, so we have 4 plus 8, and the answer for this first given, we have 12. Okay, so just substitute the given value of x or the input. Next, if we have f of negative 2, what will be the value for given expression or function? So again, if that is negative 2 as our input, so we have f of negative 2 is equals to x plus 8. And just substitute the value of x to our given expression or the function. So it will give us, again, change the variable x as negative 2 and simplify. So it will give us negative 2 plus 8 and that is equals to positive 6. So we are also allowed to evaluate given expression or function with the use of another expression. So for letter C, we have f of x plus 3. So we have here this given input as x plus 3. So same procedure, just substitute that given expression to our variables. So if we have f of x plus 3, and that is equals to x plus 8, just replace the value of our x as x plus 3. So therefore, it will give us x plus 3 plus 8 and just simplify this given expression. So just combine the like terms, we have 3 and 8. So it will give us x plus 11. And that is our final answer. Okay, so just simplify the given expression. It's either a number or integer or another expression. So let's try to solve another set of examples. Let's say we have this, um, let's say we have a of x. And that is equals to negative 3x plus 8. Okay, so let's try to solve um, what would be the value of f of 5. So again, I encourage you to pause this video and try to answer this one. And let's try to double check your answer. Alright, so let's try to double check. So again, um, what we're doing right now is we want to evaluate this one. So by the way, this is a. a of 5 is equals to negative 3x plus 8 okay so we have a of 5 is equals to negative 3x plus 8 and again since we're under evaluation just replace the value of x so it will give us negative 3 change the variable x and our input is 5 and copy the remaining items which is plus 8 and simplify so it will give us negative 3 plus times 5 that is negative 15 plus 8 Therefore, the answer for this given problem, we have a of 5 is equal to negative 7. Right, so let's try to solve another set of problem. Let's say we have b of x. Let's say we have b of x is equal to 3 over 4x plus 2. And let's try to find b of negative 12. Right, so we have this given expression again, same procedure, just replace the value of x and simplify the given expression. So if we have the input as negative 12, so it will give us 3 over 4, change the variable x as negative 12, plus 2, and simplify. So let's simplify this given fraction, so multiply this, okay, so it will give us, um, 3 times negative 12, that is negative 36 over 4 plus 2. So just simplify this one. We have negative 36 over 4, that is equals to negative 9 
plus 2. And negative 9 plus 2 is obviously negative 7. So same procedure dear students. Um, if you encounter this um, example with fraction, so just multiply the numerator to the whole number and divide it to our denominator and simplify the given expression. So the final answer for this one is negative 7. Okay, so let's try to solve another problem and again I encourage you to pause this video and try to solve this on your own. So let's have c of x, let's say that is equals to negative 2x plus 5 all over 4. And let's say we had this input as 3 over 2. Right, so try to pause this video and try to solve it on your own. Okay, so let's try to double check again. We have this given value of input as 3 over 2. So therefore, by replacing the variable x as 3 over 2, it will give us negative 2. We have x as 3 over 2 plus 5, and that is all over 4. Just simplify this given expression. So just multiply this number, okay, and simplify. So this one will give us negative 2 times 3, that is negative 6 over 2 plus 5, and that is all over 4. Okay, simplify this. So we have negative 6 all over 2, that is equals to negative 3. And copy the remaining item, which is plus 5 all over 4. And negative 3 plus 5 is actually equals to positive 2. And 2 over 4 is equals to 1 half or 0.5. So it's up to you. So if you want to express your answer into decimal form, that is okay. So this one, the answer is 1 half. Okay? So same procedure. Um, just replace the value of x, okay, as the given input. Okay. Um, let's try to solve this um, example letter D or D of x. Let's say we have D of x. Let's say this is equals to negative 10x plus 6. Okay. And let's say we are... Um, we want to evaluate this um, with 0 as x. Okay, so same procedure dear students. It will give us negative 10. Change the variable x as 0 plus 6. And simplify. Negative 10 times 0, that is automatically 0 plus 6. So obviously, the answer for this given problem, we have positive 6. Okay, and that's it. So that's the entire concept of evaluating function. Just apply the law of substitution. Thank you so much and God bless.